Hi, Floss Tube. Um, I hope everyone's been having a good couple of weeks. I know it's been a little while since I filmed. Um, there's been a lot going on, and it's summer, so <laughs> it's been busy and life and things like that. But I figured before I went into full-on stitchy mode for the evening, I would film a quick video. Um, yeah, so as far as life goes, um, work and stuff like that has been going on. I've, I was also under the weather for a bit and in the hospital turned out that it wasn't actually anything medically wrong well not medically wrong I just had a muscle spasm here in my ribs and it was presenting like I had gallstones I don't I my liver is also healthy and so are my kidneys so lots of tests were run and they found out that it was well they concluded that it was just a muscle spasm. I went for a massage and am feeling much better, which is a very good thing if you ask me. Um, so yeah, and uh, it's just been a couple of weeks of under the weather slash work and all kinds of stuff. So um, also very busy with our Etsy shop, which is very, very good. Um, but it does keep me from making videos. So anyway, on to, uh, on to the show. Um, as most of you know, I have been working on, let's see if I can get the picture. I should totally have been more prepared. Um, but here we go. Queen of Freedom. This is an out of print pattern. So unfortunately, you're only going to find it on stash on load sites or on uh, eBay. eBay is the word I was looking for. Um, so yeah, I've been working on that. I've uh, so this is where I'm at. I've moved my scroll frame or scroll frame. Q snap forty. It has been a week, let me tell you. Um, so there you have it. I don't know how many of you saw on uh, Manitoba Cross Stitchers, but I had all of this part down here done, only to find out that I was several stitches out and that what the mistakes that I had down here and a little bit up here, they all compounded to make it so bad that nothing matched. So I had to rip out several days worth of stitching and I haven't even redone that because now I'm working from the top down. I know I'm going to have to frog some more over here because there's something off here as well. So, and I'd rather do it before I'm too far along. Um, I know you can fudge some stuff and other stuff is just not fudgeable. So anyway, that's where I'm at. Um, yes, yeah, so I've been working on this one and for anyone that's wondering, I use a Lowry stand and what I do to keep the Q-snap from getting crushed, I use this uh, shelf liner grippy stuff from the dollar store. I just pick it up from the dollar store in a roll and then I cut it and uh, put it in between the two clamps and that keeps the Q-snap from getting crushed. Found that out the hard way. Anywho, so there is Queen of Freedom. Ready to rock and roll some more with that one tonight. Um, I have a new start. It is one of my cousin pieces that I'm doing conversions of. So I've started the letter T. This is for my cousin Tracy. Um, she Her favorite color, color is coral. So it'll be coral and black. And I'm using the Hand Eye by Rolanda threads that uh, the monthly threads. So unfortunately, I can't actually give you a conversion, but this is how far I am. 
Um, so not a whole lot done. I started this when I was very frustrated with Queen of Freedom. So these are not very big. I'm using a fat eighth of fabric. So I will eventually work on this again. It just hasn't been calling me. You know how it is. Uh, Queen of Freedom, definitely still hollering pretty loud. So I've been working on that one as much as possible. Um, drink of the day is brewed iced tea and it's sweet. So there you have it. Um, I did get a little bit of stitchy mail. Uh, my order from 123 Stitch came in. I got another letter fairy. This is the letter G and I will be doing this one in a conversion of, I actually won't have to convert very much other than the letter G. Um, cause my cousin that this is for, she is into hot pink. And as you can see, the little fairy is already hot pink. So that's kind of cool. I'm pretty excited about not having to do a major conversion on that. Um, and now I also got, um, a selection of beads and charms or treasures and things like that to go with my just to finish kitting up a few things that I want to work on eventually you know kitting up because yeah anyway <laughs> I got I don't remember if I showed this last time or not I don't think I did I don't think I had gotten this yet but I got uh the Serenity Prayer Lighthouse. Um, I'm planning on stitching this for my mom. And it, and it called for a uh, Brethren Blue from Gentle Arts. And now, I need your help guys. I got the fabric for this one. I ordered the fabric that was recommended by 123 Stitch, um, which is clouds, stor stormy clouds. But I also have, and this is just from Zweigard by the looks of it, it's Zweigard, but I also have Helix. This is a 25 count and I have a fat eighth of that or I have an eighth of a yard of that. So a fat eighth. Um, and then I have Helix by Picture This Plus. It's a little bit bluer and it is a uh, fat half. So now I need to know which one would you put this one on? Vote in the comments below. This is 25 count stormy, stormy clouds. And this is Helix by Picture This Plus. This is a little bit more bluer gray, and this is a bit more gray gray. Let me know in the comments below. Um, I'll give you a bit of a Brethren Blue on Helix. This is for the border. And on stormy clouds. My lighting today is really bad. So I apologize if you can't see. Um, this is kind of like a green, green, blue, gr but it's kind of a grayish as well. So there you have it. Vote in the comments below what you think that I should uh I should do. Um, there's Helix by Picture This Plus, which is a 28 count, and the 25 count is uh, from is Stormy Clouds. So Stormy Clouds or Helix in the comments below. Let me know which one I should stitch it on. It's for my mom for Christmas. Um, and yeah. 
and I'm not 100% sure whether I showed these last time either. It's been a while, guys. I think I did. I think I did. I think I showed you the July colors that I got from uh, Gentle Arts. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for me. Um, I've, it's just been a bit of time since I've had, I felt up to doing one of these videos. And with being so busy with the Etsy shop and everything like that, it's, uh, it's been a minute. Um, oh, a little bit of a plug. We just got the scissor slides back in stock in our Etsy shop, which I'll link below, um, as well as the fabric, fabric huggers that I have here on the bottom. Just holds your fabric out of the way for you. And they come in a pack of four and they're assorted colors. I can't guarantee what colors you're gonna get, but um, yeah. So, and we did get some new needle minders as well in our shop, as well as some new uh, project bags and Stitcher's Companions. Um, this is what they look like, this is how they work. So, uh, they are, they're very nice. We've got some new, some new colors in, some new fabrics, some new styles. So anyway, that's about it for me. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to talk to you about, but I think this is just going to be a very short video. Um, oh, uh, our restrictions are basically, are going to very, very minimal which is awesome, like mask mandate is being removed, which is really nice. Um, it'll make it a lot easier for me going into stores and things with being mask exempt. Um, I'm hoping that people will be kinder and not give me nasty looks anymore. Um, we'll also, we're also able to go more places without having the vaccine and all of that good jazz. So, Again, I'm exempt, I'm medically exempt from that as well. So for me, it's been, it's been a rough, it's been a rough time for me. Um, but anyway, um, that's about it for me. I know I've said that a few times already, but I keep remembering things that I want to tell you guys. Everybody have a great stitchy week. Enjoy, have fun stitching, and one last look at uh, Queen of Freedom. Bye, guys.